So I picked up this little smoker and uh, I'm going to be smoking that chum salmon today. Uh, well, hopefully it's going to taste a lot better than when I cooked it up before. I've got it smoking in there right now. It's been smoking a little while and it should be about ready in a little bit. It's a nice little uh, smoker. It's just got this pan that you pull out and put those chips in. Just got a fan going so that uh, it doesn't smoke out my, my house and my neighbors in my apartment building. So this is the unit that I got. It's the Little Chief uh, smoker. They make this in Oregon and it's pretty cheap. Uh, I actually got it for a hundred dollars. They're usually a hundred and twenty but I had a coupon at Sportsman's Warehouse so I got twenty bucks off. The setup is really easy. You just have to screw on a couple handles and then slide in the drip tray and the drying racks. So in the smoker, they give you this little recipe book, and I'm going to be making one of the recipes in here today. The recipe I'm going to be trying is an omelet with uh, salmon, smoked salmon, and cream cheese. For the smoking, I decided to compare how I did, how I smoked buffalo to how um, this YouTuber, the line cook, smokes his trout. I'll put a link to my buffalo video and his video where he's smoking the trout and you can see the recipes there. But I've done it both ways to compare the difference. He's like a pro chef and you can see his fishing videos are really good. He makes some really good recipes, go check him out. But uh, I'm gonna compare it and uh, see which one I wanna put in the omelet. All right, there's the finished product. This one in the middle here is the dry brine. And the two outer ones are the ones that I, with my recipe. And do a bit of the cat test here. She seems to be loving it. So I'm just going to try a piece of uh, my recipe one. It's pretty good. The cat wants more. So it passed the cat test. Um, mine's pretty good. Can can I try some of this dry brine one now? All right, got a piece of the uh, dry brine. Yeah, that one's pretty good. I really like the um, outside part. It's uh, got a lot more flavor on the outside there, probably because um, the recipe, he bastes the uh, outside before it's done with some honey and brown sugar and uh, apple cider vinegar, I believe. But yeah, it's a really good recipe. Um, I think out of the two, eating it straight, I would, I'm leaning towards uh, the line cook's recipe there the, with the dry brine, but I'm not sure how much of a difference it actually makes. So uh, now I'm gonna make the omelet. I'm gonna make the cream cheese smoked salmon omelet and we'll get to that now. So here's the ingredients for the recipe. This is gonna be the filling of the omelet. We've got a, one green onion, about a third cup of um, smoked salmon, and one and a half ounces of uh, Philadelphia cream cheese. Just gonna use three um, eggs in this omelet. 
And we're just gonna whisk this. Okay, we're gonna add the salmon and green onion. Just fry that up for a couple minutes. Okay, just gonna add the cream cheese now. All right, that's ready to go. Just move that to the side for now. I just have to wait for this omelet to set and then I'll put that stuff in the middle and fold it up, cook it for a minute more and uh, then it'll be ready. I love making omelets because they're really quick to make. and You can put pretty much anything in it and they taste good. Gonna add this now. Damn. Okay, just let that cook for a minute more. Used way too much oil and butter, but uh, that's okay. It'll be a bit greasy, but I'm sure it'll taste fine. All right, I think it's about done now. Yeah, it looks on the inside. Thought it'd be, uh, I thought it'd be uh, gushing out cream cheese, but it's not. Ooh, it's still a bit hot. I'm just gonna let it cool down for a minute. But it tastes really good. But it's funny, the, uh, I guess the smoking process takes all that weird flavor out of um, the, the fish that's there originally. I don't know how it does that, but it sure tastes a lot better than before when I just cooked it straight. You know, this is one of those things that I think would be, that I normally would think is weird, you know, eggs and fish, but it kind of works out. Tastes pretty good. Good if you're on that uh, keto diet, I suppose. Because I'm sure this would be, well, I know for a fact, this would be good with a bagel. Bagel, cream cheese, smoked salmon. Can't go wrong. It's pretty heavy though, with all that cream cheese and I think all the butter and oil I used to fry the omelet in. Um, yeah, it's pretty heavy. Okay, so that was really good. So s some final thoughts on the smoker. I really liked how quick it was to get going with it. It comes with everything you need and you're smoking in five minutes, really. You just need to put a couple handles on there and slide in some trays and such. Another pr thing is the price. It was only a hundred, 120 bucks and uh, Compared to my Traeger I had before, that was like 350. But uh, it doesn't have nice features like the Traeger. The Traeger had the automatic hopper. This has a little pan you have to go and load it up with chips about every hour. Um, this also doesn't have a thermometer or a temperature regulator on there. 
So you kind of got to keep an eye on that. And one thing I didn't like about the design of the smoker was uh, where you put the the uh, pan in, you kind of, you have to take the pan out to check on your meat. It just seems better if it would stay in there without you having to pull out the pan and then open the door and check on the meat, you know? But, you know, this is not, not really that big of a deal and for how cheap it was, I'm not gonna complain too much about it. Another bad thing you could say is it doesn't hold too much fish. Like, I think at most you've got about one big fish or two if you're packing it close. But I don't smoke too much, so uh, this the size of it's gonna be plenty enough for me. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with it and I really like the way it turned out. The recipe book had that omelet recipe and that was pretty good. I enjoyed that meal. Yeah, so if you need a smoker, go check them out.